I'm in Atlanta with my older sister. And um, I get a DM from Freddie Gibbs. And I had never heard of him before. And like I said, it's not my demographic. But I'm a Pitbull fan. I wouldn't know who Freddie Gibbs is. I get it. Um, people always think I'm throwing shade when I say that. But I'm like, no, I really had never heard of him. It, uh, like, a, P- a Pitbull fan won't even know academics. I get right. It. <laughs> I get so it. So I was like, ask my sister, because she's more into the hip-hop culture. I'm like, who's Freddie Gibbs? She's like, oh, he's a rapper. She was like, actually, he had a show out here a couple years ago. And um, I was with him on his tour bus. Like, I was smoking with him. I'm like, oh, okay. So if you were kicking it with him, he must be kind of cool. You know, she's like, yeah, give him a chance. And I'm like, well, fuck, his name's Freddie. And my first baby daddy named Fred. Oh, shit. So I'm like, man, I'm out of there. I'm like, I can't with this Fred shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't with this shit. She's like, nah, sis, just give him a chance. He's real cool. I'm like, okay, bet. So I responded to him and... um. Women do that before they hit the response button? Like, like kind of almost like, hey. I was trying to feel, feel him out. Yeah, yeah. I had never heard of this man before. I went to his page. I saw that he did music, but I had never heard the music. Um, so I was trying to kind of familiarize myself, you know, with who who, who was trying to talk to me, mm. you know. And um, he was like, yeah, I stay in L.A. Uh, next time you're here, like, hit me up. And so my sister had a best friend that was living in L.A. at the time. So we had gone to see her like two weeks later. I was like, hey, like I'm in L.A. Like, what? what's up? And so we kicked it. He came and picked me up. We went to this like chicken spot. And uh, that's kind of how we met is on Instagram. Oh, shit. So that's the first kind of like date type of thing. Yeah, I guess you could say it was a date. What did he pick you up in? He picked me up in a Corvette. Oh, OK. OK, OK. Yeah. Bring, brings you to a chicken spot. We're not talking about like like church's chicken. Like no, no, nah, no. Nah. It was it was a chicken spot, and it was you know it was sit down a, eating. Nah, they had just closed, and the the dudes brought the chicken out to us. Oh, to our take car. out, perfect. Yeah, so so we got go back to the hotel. Out. We went no, we went to his crib. He took me right to his house. Really, NDA and that was kind of no NDA. What? Uh uh-uh. uh That was kind of weird to me that he took me right to his house because I'm very protective of my energy, and I would never just take somebody to my crib. Especially where my kids reside, there's no way. But I just thought, hey, he's comfortable with me, like, you know, whatever. And um, that's kind of how we met. And it's so funny because people love to, like, his fans love to be like, oh, well, nobody knew who you were before Freddie Gibbs. And I'm like, well, he knew who I was before him. Like, he messaged me. (laughs) You feel me? (laughs) Why do you think he messaged you? Like, what did he see? Was he just, like, a a fan of your content? I don't know if he was a fan of my content. I, I think he just saw me on Instagram. I have no idea. Uh, but but after that day, we kind of established like a friendship. Uh, I wasn't, it wasn't like I would text him every day after that. But it was like, okay, we hooked up. Like, I'm going about my way. You go about your way. But it was always like, hey, how you doing? Like every couple weeks, like we would check in with each other. Yeah. Um, and that was for like a year. And then I found out that he got jumped in Prime 112. In Miami. Oh, so you weren't with him at that point? No, I wasn't with him then. Oh. Um, Th- that was always a hazy then. situation. So uh, for the audience, listen, um, Freddie, who is, you know, he, his, he's wrote a lot of uh, um, checks with his mouth that he can't cash, okay? And one of the situations, which was a long-lasting situation, was with him and Jim Jones. Allegedly, they ran to each other in Prime 112. It happened to be a sort of bloody situation but there was a altercation that happened it was i I remember hearing about it you know who i heard about it from first vlad vlad says okay i know someone there that confirms this hundred percent but he never said anything about it and to to the credit of jim at first because at first jim didn't say anything then he started alluding to it i was like did this happen right how did you know that happened so my sister, she called me. I, I don't remember what city I was traveling home from, but I was in the airport. And she called me. She was like, hey, did you hear about Freddie? And I was like, no, because, you know, we were just friends at this point. She goes, I heard he got jumped in Miami. Like, you should call and check on him. I'm like, damn. So I'm seeing these blogs, like, talk about it. So I sent him a text. I'm like, hey, are you okay? I heard, like, something happened. He immediately FaceTimes me. He's like, I'm good. Like, you don't see no, no scratches on me. Like, I'm straight. Like, they can't do nothing to me. I'm untouchable. I'm like, okay, 
Well, maybe maybe it's just like fake news. I don't know. Mm. You know, when he FaceTimes you, you're not see like one of his eyes a little puffy. Like, no, nah, his face looked totally looks good. fine. I I don't know what happened at Prime One Twelve because I wasn't there. But 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 um, when he FaceTimes you, you 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 didn't look at him and be like, bro, are you sure you're good? No like, no no, I, I took his word. I was like, okay, you're straight. You look you look fine. Like I was just che- I was tapping in as a friend. Mm. That's it. it. Um, clearly, it became more. Do you feel like? You tapping in maybe at that moment um, of his life, which was probably a low point, you know, even though he might have been capping to you like, oh, no, we're all good. Right. He probably took a little bit more liking into you because I know when people tap in and be like, yo, I know everybody's against you right now, but I fuck with you. Are you sure you're good? Like anything you need? Like that person I, I always. Yeah. I don't think that that was it for him. You know what I think it was? Why? So it had been. Remember, I told you we were friends for about a year. That happened. I had switched my whole look up. Like when I fa- when he FaceTimed me, I like shaved all my hair off. I had like that cute. Oh, so you had hair cut. when you first fucked with him? Yeah, I had like a cute little pixie cut, like a, oh. a black little pixie cut, and um, I had shaved my hair into like a blonde buzz cut, and I had just got my teeth done in Colombia. Like I had gotten a couple things done, and he was like, "Whoa, you look different. Like you look good. Like I think it was that." And um, so after I tapped in with him, um, that became like more of daily exchanges like how are you what's up when are we gonna link type shit Mm. and um he was about to go tour europe shortly after that and he was like hey i want you to come to europe with me and i had never been to europe so i'm like yeah i'm down you know um and that's we went to europe did that whole thing he had a few shows out there and that was like a really fun time what's the chemistry and vibe with with you guys then we immediately hit it off. Um, he has this way of like making you feel like he's that dude. But what then the mean? actions, just, they don't line up. Like, I don't know how to explain it. He makes you feel very comfortable. Like he's a very, like he's a protector. Um, like nobody wants to fuck with him. Like nobody's, he thinks he's him, like for real. And so he makes you really believe that. Like I, re- when I was with him, I really felt protected. You like, probably thought, yo, up th- until a certain point, yo, these niggas, these niggas is running from him, right? He's, I was like, yeah, he's, he's the big yeah. bad wolf, yeah. And then I realized, oh, no, he's not. So, so, like so, so Europe goes well. I'm guessing. Like, do you think there was maybe an allure or maybe some type of lust where? You know, you're this very sought after sexual figure online who's a sex worker and he might have, I don't know, maybe some weird sexual fantasies that he's like, yo, this woman, not only am I so attracted to her because I've probably either seen her content or now I'm fucking FaceTime with her and she looks so beautiful. I just want to do like some freaky sh- I just want to just fuck her all day long. You know what I mean? Because as dudes, it's yo, like. Yo, you're out of there. No, I'm serious. <laughs> like, ooh, what is it? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Like, every dude that I know people watching this, y'all going to try to cap, but you know that one girl. Just think of the name. Shit. I know a lot of y'all. Some of y'all even say Ice Spice. If, if y'all even say, if y'all, y'all got one name in mind, y'all say, man, if that girl, all I would want to do with her all days is fuck her all goddamn day. And if you know she's a freak, right? Some of y'all do for Ruby Rose, too. Stop it. Y'all know it's the truth. Y'all like, man... What like y'all just want to have experiences with that woman, and it felt like uh, on the outside looking in that Freddie was a fan of yours. Like he was, he, he was a fan of you as like a sexual being. Of course, he fucked with you too as a person, mm-hmm. but 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 that probably was what enticed him. Like yo, I got to keep this girl always around me. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. Like when my first scene went viral on Pornhub. It was up for 72 hours. It did 5.5 million views. Whoa. Um, and. Who was that with? Some like other creator. He wasn't a big creator though. It, well, how did it go viral or why? The algorithm. People just like the title, the, the, what is that called at the beginning of a video? Um, when you put a YouTube video, the, the, the thumbnail. The thumbnail of the year. So all that. He was like busting wide open type shit. Like, no. <laughs> No, no, I got it. Like, why are you going viral? Like, like, what? Are, like, what are Look you doing? Look at me, academics. No, no, no. no. I, I don't I, have to tell you why I'm going viral. No, no, hold on. Come I, on. No, no. Yeah, but wait, remember, this is porn now, so you can look amazing, but maybe you can't fuck. Maybe you can't Man, suck no dick. Ask about me. 
No, no. Well, obviously you can. Like we know this now. What I'm saying is that, uh, like at, at that point in your mind, why are you going viral? Or do you? I was totally shocked. I had no idea. Oh, you had no. Okay. One of my fans on OnlyFans DM me talking about, "Hey, I saw your video on Pornhub. It's amazing." I'm like, "Huh? How did you see it? I just uploaded it like a couple days ago. Never promoted it. Nothing." So I sent a link to Freddie. I was like, "Look, my video is going viral. This is before we were dating." He was like, "I'm so proud of you. You're so independent. I love that you have your own lane." That's what he told me. And I was like, wow, I really, I really fuck with that. He fucks with my job. Did that feel genuine? It, it honestly did. It honestly did feel genuine. It so, did feel genuine. So, so this, you know, I think a lot of people have the misconception that you blindsided him with maybe your career or maybe what you want to do. I think a lot of people think that I just started doing porn when I got pregnant as like an out of spite type thing. But I always did porn. So before you guys officially dated, he knew you were doing porn and he would tell you he's proud of you. Yes, he knew what I did. Wow. He knew. And it's so funny because when he first picked me up that day, like I had seen a couple pictures on his Instagram that he was like, had a microphone or whatever. Um, and my sister told me he was a rapper. But when I asked him outright what he did, he was like, oh, I play baseball. Or, oh, I do this. I do that. He would never tell me, like, he's he a rapper. He would never say he's a rapper? No, he why didn't want to tell me that. I, I have no fucking idea why. But Maybe I was he was always, trying to throw you off, like, I don't want you to, like, be like a groupie. So I'm not going to tell you what I really do. I was always genuine about my career. And he always supported it until he didn't. So you are telling him, hey, I'm an adult entertainer. I do scenes with other men. Yeah, he knew all that. I did that while we were dating. Did, he knew. Did, did, did he ever say at a point, hey, uh... I don't, I, I don't want to, like, I want to He got to, to a point where, remember I told you I was I was offered that porn deal. I was offered a big porn deal. And um, I remember, I can't remember what city we were in, but he we were having, like, a, a conversation on the bed, and he was like, I really, I just don't think that I'm okay with it no more. Like, doing the boy-girl scenes. I'm like, damn, like, why all of a sudden when I'm about to, what like, What time frame up? is this? Is this after, because. This because- is before the Buffalo situation. This is before that. Yeah, it was like probably a month or two before. Okay, so so so, so yeah, let, let's get back into the uh, chronological. So, you call him. Hey, are you good? We seen some stuff. Prime one twelve. He's like, no, I'm good. Look at my face. I'm right. straight. Blah blah. He asked you to hang out. He's like, he's realizing you're looking like real good. You got a little changes done. Okay, cool. He wants to link up. You guys link up. You guys go, go to Europe, right? Have Europe. a great old time. Um, do you guys get in a relationship there or is it when you get back? No, we're, we're in a relationship there Okay, and he keeps making it a point. And I don't know why I didn't catch on to this shit while we were together. He keeps making it a point. Like I want to go viral. I want to go viral. And I'm like, I know how to go viral. Wait, what do you mean? He's saying he wants to go viral. Like because, he because wants here's the, the blogs to be talking about us. That's what he wants. Like I, looking back, it's mm-hmm. given like PR type vibes, you know? Cause, cause okay. This is confusing because if let you know a rapper. It, let me make it make sense. Ahead. So, like I said, I met up with him in Europe. I'm going to break it down Barney style. I met up with him. The first city we met was Amsterdam. Um, He had, like, 40 roses for me. And I had never... The only other dude that had ever given me flowers was my husband. So, I was, like, kind of taken aback by the fact that he showed up with 40 roses. And he also had this paper and this pen. And he was like, I want you to write down some shit that I want to work on, like, us together. He was like, I want to get a house That's in Texas. That's kind of game. Why are you going to lie to you? That's kind of game. He's like, I want to get a house in Texas. I want to get you an electric car. He's like, I want to I redo the Kanye and Amber photo shoot. And I was like, I don't want to redo the Kanye and Amber. That's been done. And like Amber, I fuck with her really heavy. And I don't want anything I do to seem like I'm trying to copy or take away from what she got going on. You feel me? So um, I was already getting a lot of comparisons to her because I had the blonde buzz cut too. And she, everybody knows she started that shit. Yeah. But when she talks about it, her look, she's like, that look is for my fans. Like she loves when, when bitches be doing that same shit. But I was like, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do the Kanye Amber shit. I think that's the type of vibe he was on. He was very like trying to, he loved the porn star rapper look. Mm. He loved that. And and it, and you, it's crazy because his think fans he loved, loved it? it. Do you think he loved it because he loved you, or because at that point he was looking at you guys, or just looking at like an image that he feels was readily consumable by an audience? I think that he had genuine love for me, but I think it was more about what it looked like to other people. 